Falun Gong, a meditation practice that attracted hundreds of millions in China during the 90s, until they became pawns in a grab for power by former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin. To expand his control over the military and security apparatus of the Communist Party, Jiang launched a nationwide persecution to wipe out Falun Gong. Now, practitioners face imprisonment, torture, and death. So you might wonder, hmm, how can I get in on that? Yes, practicing Falun Gong sure sounds appealing, doesn't it? So why would anyone want to practice? A good question, but where am I going to find Falun Gong practitioners in New York? May 13th is World Falun Dafa Day, which is apparently a thing. More than 8,000 Falun Gong practitioners from around the world made their way to New York City last week to mark the occasion. On May 15th, thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are marching in a parade from near the United Nations building to the other end of the city, passing right in front of the Chinese consulate. <laughs> For some onlookers from mainland China, it must have been a shock to see American police protecting Falun Gong practitioners rather than what their Chinese counterparts would do. They may have also been surprised at the number of what appears to be non-Chinese Falun Gong practitioners. After all, part of the propaganda from the Communist Party is that Falun Gong is not accepted outside China either, which doesn't look like it's true. Uh, you don't happen to be Chinese. No, I'm not. No. Uh, so what are you doing here? Um, doing here? Well, I took part in the parade because I've been practicing Falun Gong since 2002. Okay, and you, you are not Chinese, correct? No, I'm not. I'm not Chinese. Okay. I'm like ethnically Finnish. I don't, I don't even speak Chinese, which I kind of regret. But, um, Finnish? We haven't even started. <laughs> yeah. And so what happens when you meet a person from mainland China and they find out you're a Falun Gong practitioner? Uh, oh, they're always shocked. You know, they're always shocked. They're surprised. They're like, oh, they're crazy people. And like one was like, oh, they try to like tear out their, or their guts to find this thing in them because that's what their master tells them. I'm like, wait, well, no, no, I practice. That's not at all, actually. So I can tell like they've been brainwashed. It's so weird. It's, some reactions you get are quite stark and they, they run away. Uh, so they actually <laughs> run away? Well, <laughs> almost. And uh, we're getting along really good and then I'll say a little bit in Chinese and tell them, you know, I'm a Falun Gong practitioner. And it's, it's interesting because we were having this really polite discourse and then all of a sudden the, the hard wiring starts, wants to fire, but they're conflicted because they're like, I was just having a really nice time with this person and now I'm supposed to hate him. And uh, how many, how many self-immolations have you, have you witnessed? Uh, none. That would be emphatically none. How much is the CIA paying you to say that? Do I look like CIA? I, I would really... Uh... I don't know. Well, how would I know what a CIA <laughs> well, looks like? I mean, I'm not CIA. Oh, I, I, what are you I, I, insinuating? I'm so how much are you being paid to be here? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Never. Seem... Doesn't Never seem paid. like a very good job, then. It's a perfect job. It's a great job. Uh, I, uh, you know, I actually lead classes in the UK, Falun Dafa classes for free, and uh, I'm very happy to be here for free uh, to uh, take part in this parade. Uh, it's a great experience. Well, I started practicing Falun Gong before any persecution started in China. Oh, so you've been practicing a long yeah, time. Yeah, so we were just, you know, happy people giggling together in the park about you know, our attachments and about becoming better people and doing meditation and doing these exercises. But it means always putting other people first and other people's interests first. And no matter where you are, whether you know them or not. I think that's that's a really baseline if I had to, you know, think of something. That sounds so dangerous and subversive. As I, it's a self-cultivation practice after all, so I'm trying to improve my character and myself through the truth uh, You've of kind of got a shifty character, I gotta, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm not really that shifty. Sinister laugh. Oh, I really? Mean, you're British, like, all yeah. the villains are British. Oh, yeah, well, that's how America makes it out, isn't it? And one more thing, you said you sing opera. I sing classical music, uh, that in which includes opera and art song and things like that. So that's what I studied, um, concomitant with political science in my undergrad. Concomitant. <laughs> wow, I've never heard that word before. And so what's the appeal of practicing Falun Gong 
concomitant with the persecution that's happening. Uh, can you rephrase that? Well, how about we, we hear it? How about what? you sing a little, You're little kidding opera? Me. Gotta release tension. You're kidding me. Go with the I flow. Just, I just walked for three hours in the sun. Um, a full-time student studying all the time, I always feel like I can think clearer after doing like the meditation exercise. Four bars. Gosh, repeat, this is public. It's a, it's a nuisance. No, it's not a nuisance. How bad are you? <laughs> My experience being able to really filter out all the uh, uh, anxieties or difficulties or vices or whatnot that come with regular, regular life uh, is what really helps me when I go do the actual exercises and then the energy flow is much stronger and so that link between mind and body is, is very much a part of Falun Gong and part of what drew me to it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to forgive you for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. That was better than when I was playing with the dragon earlier today. I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure I couldn't play a dragon the way you played a dragon. That's probably true. So after speaking to so many Falun Gong practitioners today, I was inspired. I genuinely want to find some way to help out. And then it hit me. Okay guys, it's time to storm the Chinese consulate. Who's with me? We don't really do that kind of stuff. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> On this episode of China Uncensored, Joe Yang Kong, eat your heart out. Eat it! What's that, Shelly? Don't eat it. It's worth $130,000 on the black market? Something you may not know about the Chinese Communist Party is that they actually have a propaganda department. That's not me making a swipe at them, it's actually called the Central Propaganda Department. 